Good evening. All right, it's time to talk about the Half-Life 2 vehicles. This car, you probably know it as the Jeep. This is what it's labeled as in Gary's Mod, and most people in the community will call it the Jeep. However, in-universe, this vehicle is referred to as the Scout Car. It has a Gauss cannon from Half-Life 1 on it, um, which was apparently added by Eli, or maybe it was Alex, I, I honestly forget, but one of those two. And it, it, it does a turbocharge, run over antlions and shit. Then, in episode two, there's this other car. Uh, you'll find it very frequently referred to as the Jalopy. However, this is not correct. It is technically called the Muscle Car. Jalopy is the name of the vehicle as it appeared in the beta version of episode 2. The final car is called the muscle car, or if you look in the game files, it's technically called the junker. But, all of that aside, I have a very, very important message. This boat, you see this, this little air, this little craft right here? This little thing you used to, to, to slide through the little sludge and look at the G-man in the bar and like, oh, hey, whoa, it's the guy, and you try to go up there and he's fucking not there. This is not called the airboat. Do not let the voice actors in-game convince you that it's called the airboat. I know this stupid bitch Arlene calls it the airboat. Alex Vance even calls it the airboat. But listen, listen, listen. This is called the mud skipper. If you don't believe me, turn on your closed captions. Look at the- jump in the vehicle and look at the closed captions once you start it. It'll say something like mud skipper revving, mud skipper starting. Or if you're driving it, it probably says something like mud skipper slashing on stupid ass mud or whatever it's called. Now I know what you're thinking, like, no, but I play Gmod. And in Gmod, it's called the mud- it's not- <laughs> when I play Gmod, it's called the airboat. But here's the thing, you're wrong. And I know you're, you're, you're flipping open, you're flipping open your stupid little, you're, you're here, you're, you're like, you're flipping open your little, your little fucking Prima Guide for Half-Life 2. And you're saying, look, it's called the airboat. Think again, dumbass, the Prima Guide is not canon. It directly contradicts a lot of the word of, uh, series writer Mark Laidlaw. Uh, particularly regarding Father Grigori, it says that he's, uh, moved there or something, when in reality the, the canon is that he stays there. The, uh, Prima Guide is written with riffs from the developers. So, in such a case, the Prima Guide would be contradicted, it, it would be ignored if there was something of a higher value of canonicity, such as the Half-Life 2 Raising the Bar book. Now, this is a book that was published with Valve's approval. It includes interviews from each of the developers. And if you flip to page 92, you'll see, not only does it list Mudskipper as the name of this craft, it says it first. It addresses it as the Mudskipper, in parentheses, airboat. Not only that, in the first line, it goes out of its way to say that the Mudskipper is the official name for this craft. So listen, listen. This, regardless of what you may have, you know, whatever garbage the mainstream media may have pumped into your little brain, this is called the Mud Skipper. Okay, I just had to get that out there. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great rest of your day.